Hey, hey, how the devil are you? So, look what I got today. <laughs> mm. So, I bought um, a Wharfdale Diamond SW150 sub to go with my speakers and my hi fi system. <laughs> Can't wait. So, before we get started, let's get this thing open. So this is the Wolfdale Diamond SW150 subwoofer. Uh, it's got a 10 inch or 250 millimeter uh, woofer. I was hoping I could take the drill off to show you, but at the moment I can't see a way of getting it off. So I don't know. Um, now this has been around for a long time. It's been around, I think, uh, early to mid 2000s, possibly this was brought out, but it was really highly rated at the time. And you can pick these up now for 150 quid. So my budget is a little bit tight. I've got to pull in the purse strings a little bit. I don't want to go too mad. And because this is a good uh, a good subwoofer, especially for the price you're paying for it, I thought I'd get this one to go with it. Um, on the back, let's have a look on the back. On the back, you've got your line level input here. You've got your high level inputs, which are important for me because I have an old amp and I'll go through that a bit later on in the video. Your volume, your crossover frequency, which I'll also cover later on in the video. You've got your phase, zero to 180 you got your auto power on and off so if you have that switched on but it detects power source or any music going to it it'll come on automatically automatically so you can leave it switched on and pretty much that's it and then you've got the heat sink here so what are the specs as i said it's got a 250 mil woofer long throw amplified power is 150 watts and the frequency response is 35 to 110 hertz Okay, so now I want to connect my amp to my subwoofer. But here's the problem. I've got no sub out. This is an old amp. So I can't connect it via the, via the sub out from this amp to here to go into these connections, these line levels. Uh, some people will tell you, you need to connect them from A and B. So A runs to your loudspeakers and B runs to the subwoofer. You can do it like that, no problem. But I haven't got A and B, I've just got these, left and right, that's it. So what you gotta do with this, you have to run the subwoofer from these to these and speakers from them. So very easily, all you do, you run from left to left, uh, black to black. So I'll pop these in here. So what we wanna do now is uh, set the crossover frequency. Now, uh, the instructions are about as useful as a comb for a bald man. <laughs> just, it doesn't really give anything away exactly where to set it. It says you just use your own ears. So I do a bit of research and a lot of people say different things. Um, and they say set it 10 above the lowest frequency on your loudspeakers. Now my loudspeakers at the moment are go down to 41 hertz. So that would say, suggest that I turn this up to around about 52 hertz or there and thereabouts. This goes up in clicks, so I'd have to set it to 55. But you can never, you know, trust the manufacturer's recommendations, even though they're not lying. They do this in a perfect room with all soundproofing around and all measuring tools uh, to get that low frequency. You're never going to get that in your house unless you've got a room like they've got it. So I would suggest you go about 20 above. So I'm gonna set this to 65, uh, 65 hertz. Um, now, I may not like it, I will experiment going lower and higher. You just trust these, it's your personal preference. And, uh, and, but I'm gonna stick to 65 and see how I go from there. It may go up to 75, may go down to 55, but I'll use my ears to find out. Then you've got the phase then. Uh, so if, you're, if you think your bass is out of phase with your speakers, you can flip that over to 180. Uh, because I'm connecting speaker to speaker, the, using the speaker terminals and not a sub out, I don't think the phase is going to be affected. I, can't, I, I, I really don't think so, so I'm going to leave that on note. And then you've got the volume, a way to set that. That's your personal preference. But in saying that, for me, uh, I would suggest you need to set this up so it blends in with your speakers, doesn't overpower them. 
you don't want the bass taking over. You want it to sound like that bass is coming from your speakers, not coming from a separate entity. So you don't want to have this at blasting and you know really low frequencies. Ums, ums. Although some people like that. <laughs> you know, there are people out there. You go you, you go in their car or in their house and it's like ums, ums. down to you okay um, I'm gonna set it halfway and uh, we'll go from there to see if I need to turn it up or down a little bit or mess with the crossover frequency we'll see now the reason I've connected these up with the wires on the back is because I need to connect the speakers up to these as well so I'm gonna be using the banana plugs and what I'll do I'll plug the banana plugs in here okay and then uh, and that'll go to my speaker and that's why I've plugged them in the back I may get banana plugs to go into these here uh, because it's just easier than fill, to trying to slot them through the holes and, and screw them up as a pain in the neck. I don't think it makes any massive differences to the sound quality, but it's just easier, more convenient. Okay, let's get the speakers connected up properly, get it back or over to my system and have a listen to see what it sounds like with and without the sub. Okay, it's all set up and ready to go. Um, so what I did, I, after messing about with it a little bit, I felt that 65 hertz was about right, so about 20 above or there or thereabouts of what my frequency response on my speakers are. And I set the volume to about three quarters of the way as I found halfway wasn't enough and full up was just a bit too much bit in your face. Now, it just blends into the speakers now, so it's perfect for me, but again, it depends on you, the person, what your preference is. Anyway, let's have a listen. people it may not be enough uh, for me it's perfect you can't tell there's a sub if it wasn't the sub. if you hit the sub you wouldn't know it sounds like it's coming through the speakers which that's my preference I want it to sound like that if you wanted it a little bit more bassy you could turn you could turn it up a little bit to full volume mess about with the 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 uh, crossover see if you can get a bit more bass out of it but I found my settings I have perfect for me and I really like it anyway hope you enjoyed it I enjoyed it <laughs> Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.